hello dear students the topic of the class is overlap add method in this class we'll be finding the output response y of n for the given x of n input and impulse response h of n using overlap add method this topic comes under circular convolution when the duration x of n is of long duration so let us start the problem find the output response find the output output or response symbolically y of n find the output y of n of a filter whose impulse response is h of n so what is asking a system is there whose impulse response is h of n input is x of n and you have to find output the response okay so x of n is given as 3 minus 1 0 1 3 and h of n is given as 1 1 1 so you have to find output response y of n using overlap add method so let us start the solution first write the given sequence x of n x of n is equal to 3 minus 1 0 1 3 2 0 1 2 1 and h of n is triple 1 so the length of x of n is coming to be 10 which is symbolically denoted by capital l the length of h of n is given by capital m so capital m value is 3 3 samples are there so its length is 3 so what is uh, overlap add method first step the first step is to break x of n into small sections so let us assume each section is of length 5 so we'll be dividing first x of n is x1 of n x2 of n x3 of n and x4 of n its each length will be 4 5 sorry so x1 will be x1 of n x2 of n x3 of n x4 of n each will be of length 5 that is it will contain five samples in it so how to section this sequences from given x of n so in overlap add method you have to take the first three new elements from x of n 3 minus 1 0 we have to add m minus 1 zeros m m value is 3 3 minus 1 is 2 so we'll first take two zeros we have to put them at the last so after adding 2 how many elements are left only 3 so we have to take these three elements from x of n so 3 minus 1 0 we have added two zeros here so in overlap add method for every sequence at the last you have to add m minus 1 zeros overlap add add means you are adding how many zeros m minus 1 0 m value is 3 so you are adding two two zeros so when you are adding two two zeros so how many elements three new elements from the given sequence so three up to here it is over now take 1 3 2 1 now take 0 1 2 0 now you are left with only one and you have added two zeros and you are left with only one so what you have to do you have to add two more zeros to it to make the sequence x4 of n of length 5 so in overlap add method we have made four sections of x of n as x1 of n x2 of n x3 of n x4 of n each of length 5 where we are adding m minus 1 zeros in the last and h of n is given as triple 1 while performing circular convolution the basic need is we have to make both the sequences of same length x1 of n is of length 5 So you have to make h of n same length. So we have added two zeros to it to make its length phi. So now we have to find what is y one of n. What is y one of n? X one of n circularly convolved with h of n. Y two of n is equal to x two of n circularly convolved with h of n. Y three of n is equal to x three of n circularly convolved with h of n. Y four of n is equal to x four of n circularly convolved with H of n, so you know how to solve this 
circular convolution using matrix method. For uh, one sample, one example I have solved it here using matrix method. So, when you are solving y 1 of n, it is x 1 of n circularly convolved with h of n. So, first write the matrix of h of n. What is h of n? 1 1 1 double 0. Now, take this 0 here. After writing this 0, there is triple 1, triple 1 and 0. Now, take this 0 here, double 0, triple 1. Take this 1 here, 1, double 0, double 1. Take this 1 here, 1, 1, double 0, 1. So, when it is having 5 elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, here we will get 4 steps. Okay, so, we have formed H of n matrix. Next, write x1 of n matrix. What is x1 of n matrix? It is 3 minus 1 triple 0. Here we have obtained x1 of n 3 minus 1 triple 0. That we have written it here 3 minus 1 triple 0. So, we got H of n matrix, x1 of n matrix. You can find y of n. So, how to solve this matrix? This complete row is multiplied by this complete column element by element. How? 1 into 3, 3 plus 0 into minus 1, 0 plus 0 into 0, 0, 1 into 0, 0, 1 into 0, 0 like this. So, this row is completely multiplied by this column element by element added. We got 3. Similarly, 1 into 3, 3, 1 into minus 1, minus 1, 0 into 0. So, here all the 3 elements will be 0. So, it will come as 2. So, for this row, we will get as 2, for this row, we will get as minus 1, for the last row, we will get as 0. So, we got y1 of n as 3, 2, 2, minus 1, 0. Similarly, you can find for y2 of n, y3 of n, y4 of n by matrix method. So, which I have written here, x1 of y1 of n is 3, double 2, minus 1, 0, y2 of n is 1, 4, 6, 5, 2, y3 of n is 0, 1, double 3, 2, y4 of n is equal to triple 1, double 0. Okay, up to here it is clear. Now, the final step, what we have done? We have written y1 of n. We have to add m minus 1 elements. m minus 1, m value is 3, 3 minus 1, 2. So, we have to add the last two elements with the first two elements of the next block. This is y1 of n, this is y2 of n, y3 of n y4 of n. The last two elements, two elements y, m minus 1. The last two elements are added with the first two elements of each block. Last two elements added with the first two elements. Last two elements are added with the first two elements of each block. So, how to write the result now? See, y of n, we have to write the result of y of n. So, first take 3 triple 3 double 2, 3 double 2 we have written, minus 1 plus 1, 0, 0 plus 4, 4. So, this is over, ok. So, after adding this one, we are left with what? 6, we have written 6. Now, add 5 plus 0, 5, 2 plus 1, 3. Then this 3 I have written here, 3 plus 1, 4, 2 plus 1, 3, then you are left with 1. This 0 is no need to write. So, your final result is y of n, this is the, your result. Okay. So, if you carefully observe what you have done in overlap add method, 
we have first to make sections of x of n as x1 of n, x2 of n, x3 of n. How do we make sections? By adding m minus 1 zeros in each section and taking new elements from the given sequence x of n. If any element is getting short, we add zeros to it and then find y1 of n, y2 of n, y3 of n, y4 of n by using matrix method. And the third step is we have to add m minus 2 elements, the last two elements with the first two elements and, uh, and write the sequence of y of n. Okay, I hope the procedure is clear of overlap add method. So, if you give the summary of the work, it will be if x of n is 3 minus 1 0 1 3 2 0 1 2 1 and h of n is triple 1 and you are asked to find y of n. So, whether, whether you do it by overlap save method or overlap add method, the answer will be coming same. Okay, that is 3 double 2 0 4 6 5 double 3 4 3 1 overlap save method and in overlap save method you are discarding m minus 1 data in overlap add method you are adding m minus 1 data ok so you first divide x of n into smaller sections we have by assuming the length here we have assumed the length is 5 i hope you have understood the class if you have any queries you can post in the comment section Good luck students.